So if you're not already caught up, this thing's transmission is blown kaput. It does not work anymore. Well, technically I have forward gears, but I do not have low range or reverse because one of the main shafts inside the transmission has broken in half. Luckily, the reason it broke in half is because Rancher Transmissions accidentally used a bad part, so he knows exactly what happened, so he's gonna cover it under warranty, but I still have to drop the transmission and bring it to him in LA, which is like two and a half hours away from here. Just got this thing. I don't really know what's going on under there, so I am decently mechanically inclined. I know how transmissions work. I know how they attach and everything. It's just gonna be the small stuff if there's like sensors or what's going on under there, and then the process of me actually single-handedly holding a hundred, I don't know how heavy it is, it's probably pretty heavy, transmission by myself, undoing it, I don't know. We'll have to see. I have no idea what I'm doing whenever it comes to that. On this particular vehicle, I know how to drop a transmission, in theory, but we'll see. <laughs> and one of the many quirks of owning a vehicle that is almost double my age is that there's not really a lot of good tutorial videos on YouTube. Most of the people who have these or can afford these are old and don't really make videos and don't really show how to do that on video. Luckily, I was just at Synchro Fest and there's a bunch of people who are willing to help me. So hopefully with the help of them and my mechanical knowledge that I have, whether that's big or large, big or small, I don't know, should get me through dropping the transmission successfully and hopefully getting it fixed and putting it back in. By the time it's back in, the interior should be done and we should be on the road, finally. <laughs> so let's get started. And hopefully I can do everything with just my toolbox. <laughs> and while I would love to make my own how to drop a sinker's transmission video, uh, one, I don't feel nearly qualified enough to make that video right now. Maybe if I already drop it and put it back in, then I can make a video about dropping it. But I also simply just don't have time. Those kind of videos take a long time to make. They're very detailed and in-depth. So this is gonna be more of an update kind of thing. <laughs> I'll try to go in, make a couple things, change a couple things, get closer to dropping it, and update you guys on whether or not I'm failing or not. All right, so I got one of many first big steps out of the way. I got the drive shaft disconnected. But I find this hilarious, besides my incredible hair. These are the actual drive shaft bolts that connect the front drive shaft to the transmission. Look at those little guys. They're just, they're just itty bitty, <laughs> they're tiny. The drive shaft is huge. It's actually a really big drive shaft and the flange it connects to is relatively big, but these little, these little tw tiny bolts transfer all that power. I might replace these, these look pretty old. And I know that they can technically be tiny because it's just sheer force that they're dealing with. They're not really dealing with any pulling or pushing, but it's like just that little guy is dealing with all the power. And because we are smart armchair mechanics, you're gonna be taking little baggies with a little Sharpie and actually marking the bolts. Because again, I am not familiar with this chassis or this platform at all. And while I think I will remember these bolts right now, I almost certainly will not. <laughs> and the transmission is gonna take a week or two to actually get fixed and then I'm gonna have to go get it and bring it back and then I have to find the time to put it in. So it's probably gonna be a while till I touch all these things again and I guarantee I'm not gonna remember what or where any of them go. Drive shaft bolts, and we will add this to the little pile I'm gonna make of all the different parts I take off of this thing. Yeah. And yeah, here's also a good look at the transmission. This is what I am going to be dropping out of the synchro. It connects to the engine back there. It's part of what makes the synchro unique is the engine's right there in the back, all the way in the back. Here's the trans axle. This is the transmission and it's an axle. You have a drive shaft running to the front instead of a drive shaft running to the back. This one's protected by these skid arms, whatever you want to call these. And then it goes to my front differential up there and gives power to the wheels up there. Okay, update. <laughs> Most of everything that needs to be removed and unbolted is removed and unbolted. Really just what's left is the actual bolts that hold the transmission to the engine, which are very hard to get to because these ones down here are relatively easy to get to, but even then they're super, super tight and you have to get a crowbar in there or a breaker bar and break them loose and there's just not a lot of room you're working with. And those bolts continue to the very, very top of the transmission. And there is essentially no room up there. So I do have to figure that out. I am texting a couple people in the Vanagon community right now. I'm texting the, the old owner of this Vanagon to see how he did it because he put that, all that stuff in. As you can see, this is the current state of the underside of the Vanagon. Both of the axles are dropped. The actual shifter is dropped. I find this thing funny because this is what actually shifts your gears, but the transmission's back here. So you have this long rod that goes across the entire length of the car all the way to the front where your actual shifter is. So the shifting always feels vague on this kind of vehicle like the Vanagans, just because of how incredibly long that rod is. Yeah, shifter axle is disconnected. The drive shaft like I showed you guys earlier is disconnected. I still gotta break that loose once I'm actually ready to drop the trans. A couple wires like this grounding wire and uh, the brake light sensor, all that kind of stuff is all disconnected. And I just need to get to those bolts back there 
with some sort of pry bar, some sort of something. And then I will be dropping this transmission, hopefully not on myself. <laughs> All right, here are the actual trans bolts, which is awesome because these were the hardest ones to get to. These were the ones that were like on top of the transmission and torqued down really hard. So the transmission is officially disconnected from the engine, which is sweet. Okay, day number two. I got my work shirt on <laughs> and we are about ready to drop the transmission, but I need to be really careful. I need to slide off slowly and I still need to disconnect the starter and the clutch lines on top. So I'm gonna slide it off, bring it down, and then I can get on top of it if that makes any sense, but I got a whole apparatus going under here. So it should just be a game of inching the transmission off of the motor while supporting it with the actual pull straps, because again, I don't want to put the weight of the transmission on the actual shaft that's coming out of the motor. You guys will see that once it's out. And then hopefully within the next hour or two here, actually getting the transmission out of the van. It's been a very long two days, tell you that. Show you guys, I have a pull strap going over the actual, whatever bars these are called. Uh, so it connects the frame, goes over this bar, and then under the actual tip of the transmission here, and then back over the other side of the bar, and then connects to the frame over there. So that way I can pull or loosen this and uh, raise or lower the actual tip of the transmission, which gives me a lot of control on where I want it without having to use an actual jack stand because I don't have jacks here because I was not planning on doing this. And then I have the same kind of thing going on in the front, just another pull strap under the back of the transmission. So whenever I pull the transmission off, it's not putting a whole bunch of weight on the actual spline of the engine. I'm gonna lower the transmission with these straps. Drop that some more and see if I can't push this thing off of the transmission. Woo. There we go. Look at that floating transmission. <laughs> now I'm just gonna lower it onto the ground. Just like that, the transmission is out. Wow, that, that sucked. Obviously I didn't show a lot of it on camera just because it was super boring because a lot of it was me literally spending hours getting one bolt out at a time. Kind of classic German engineering. Everything's engineered very, very well, but not easy to work on. It will definitely be easier now that I know all the little small things, all the little sequences of things that you have to do, you know, one, two, three. Because I kept undoing something, then I have to redo that, go back, undo something first, and then do that again, over and over and over again. So yeah, I'm glad it's out. <laughs> now, I just gotta go get clean and not disgusted and covered in metal shavings and grossness. And tomorrow I'm going to rent a car, because obviously <laughs> not working, and throw this in the back of it, drive over to LA, drop this off at Mike's shop, Rancho Transaxles, and drive back and wait for him to rebuild it. More time and more money. <sighs> and then we'll finish the interior build, which will be cool. And then it'll be on the road and happy, go lucky. It'll be so cool. I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, I got the cheapest Turo, like a crappy little Ford Focus, and I'm gonna try to shove the transmission in the trunk and take it down to LA, hopefully. Boom, that'll work. <laughs> Just gonna throw a bunch of cardboard in there so I don't damage anything. Then I have to see if I have the strength to lift this transmission into this car by myself. I think I got it. Gotta give it a shot. <laughs> Add a little bit more protection with a towel. It's heavy, <laughs> but I think I did it. Transmission in a trunk. <laughs> All right, that was pretty quick and easy. It was a little heavy, but got it in. In there, it's strapped down to the sides with a strap. I'm gonna throw a towel over it. Just trying to be as respectful as possible and not get any dirt or grime in there. But yeah, it's about time to drive two and a half, two hours west to LA. Drop off the transmission, so let's go. All right, close out the garage. Bye-bye, Synchro, and here comes LA in a Ford Focus. I hate these cars. On the road again. I just can't run around the road again. Nothing's smoking. Da -da 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 -da. There it is. All right, there they are. Good old Rancho Transaxle. Sweet, sounds good. Dropping off for Mike. Sweet. All right, she is dropped off. Mike over at Rancho is gonna rebuild it, let me know if there's anything I need to pay for, and then 
I have to come pick it up, do the same exact trip uh, in like a week or two, so we'll see. All right, it's actually a couple days later, so my beard is a little bit longer and my hair is a little bit shorter, but the transmission is dropped off at Rancho, getting worked on, getting ready. Mike actually said that he'll get it turned around relatively quick, so hopefully within the next week, I should actually be going back down there, picking the transmission up, and putting it back in the synchro. I knew I'd be working on the synchro at some point. It's a almost 40 year old vehicle, 38 years old. But I just didn't think it was gonna be this soon with this big of a project. It is what it is, and the transmission had the bad shaft anyways. So I'm much happier it happened now before I got really on the road than if I got really on the road and was in the middle of nowhere and it broke. And you know, that could have been really, really bad. So happy it happened now. Happy I'm getting everything sorted out now and then hopefully be on the road not having to drop the transmission. Again, we'll see. I do know how to do it now, I guess, if I need to do it. So yeah, transmission getting rebuilt. Oh, then interior is done. And we're on our way to have even more crazy and amazing adventures. Bye bye.